Hi, I'm Steph from Step It Up with Steph, and I'm a certified yoga instructor as well as a health and fitness expert. And today I'm showing you yoga poses that you can use to help improve posture and reduce neck pain. Posture is such a buzzword today because so many of us, when we're not at work hunched over on our computers, we're hunched over looking on our cell phones. You're chronically in this poor body mechanics position, which is prohibiting you from being in good posture because you're, you're essentially in poor posture all day long. I've got some great yoga poses that you can do standing. Then I'm gonna show you some poses you can do on your hands and knees, even lying down on your stomach. And all of these poses are going to help strengthen the back of your body, open up the front of your body, and also relieve neck tension and upper back pain. This routine will take you under five minutes, so I recommend doing this daily. Believe it or not, this pose helps with posture. This is called mountain pose. Now it may look like I'm just standing here, but really there's a lot going on. First, starting at my foundation, my feet are as wide as my hips, I'm pressing down with all 10 toes and lifting up through the arches. Then I'm squeezing my quads to pull my kneecaps up, pulling my belly button navel in towards my spine to stand up even straighter and support my low back. And then my shoulders are back, my chest is open, and my arms are externally rotated. My chin is slightly lifted and I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together in my upper back so that I can open my chest, but also to strengthen the muscles of my upper back. From Mountain Pose, we're going to reach the arms out to the sides and up as you breathe in. We're really training these upper neck and these upper back muscles to relax as we reach the arms up. So if you're reaching for things throughout the day, you want to reach but still release up there. So as we have the arms up, we relax the shoulders down, we ground through the feet and reach up through the fingertips and breathe slowly. In through the nose and out through the nose. Now let's come down onto our hands and knees for cat and cow. So, lining up the wrists directly underneath the shoulders and the knees directly underneath the hips. We're going to increase mobility in the upper, middle, and lower spine by first bringing the shoulders back and lifting the head up and sticking the tush back and breathing in. And then we do the reverse. Pull the navel in towards the spine, round the back, and look down with your chin and your chest. Inhaling to look up, sticking the tailbone back behind you, and then exhaling to round down and trying to reach the tailbone down towards the ground. From your hands and knees, now we're going to move into a plank position. So we're gonna walk the hands forward just a couple of inches and shift the shoulders forward over the wrists with the knees back further than the hips. And you can hold this for a modification with your abs drawn in. For full plank, tuck the toes under and lift up. Then looking down just a couple of inches in front of you, breathe here. Another great pose for posture is locust pose. Coming down onto your stomach, Make sure that you pull your navel in towards your spine. Also, I'm gonna bring the legs closer together, but if you have low back issues or need a modification to make this a little bit easier, go ahead and open the legs as wide as the hips. I'm gonna lower down onto the ground and reach my arms behind me. So from this position, you can start with your forehead on the mat and your shoulders resting down. As you lift up, the shoulder heads are going to lift up as well. The upper back squeezes together, squeeze your glutes, and then lift the legs up. And for an added bonus, since we're working on posture, you can open the palms, open the legs as you lift up, and make sure the shoulders are pulling down instead of hunching up towards your ears. Hold this for a few breaths. Reverse prayer is a great yoga pose that will help to 
open up the chest and it feels really good too. First, we're gonna bring the shoulders back and then bring the hands behind you. Now, if you're a little bit tight, you can reach the fingertips towards each other here and just bring the elbows and the shoulders back and this will be your reverse prayer position. If you're a little bit more flexible and open in the shoulders, then you can go into full reverse prayer. So walking the hands up along your spine in between your shoulder blades and then pressing your palms together and opening the elbows, opening the chest, but pulling the navel in towards the spine so that you're not overarching here. We're pulling the navel in, shoulders are back, and chest is lifted. Holding this here and taking a few deep breaths. For an added bonus, you can stretch along the sides of your neck by dropping one ear to that same shoulder on the same side, holding for a few breaths, and then coming back to center and going to the other side. In today's digital age, having poor posture is pretty inevitable. So step it up and integrate these yoga poses into your everyday life to feel instant relief and relaxation. Namaste.